Hello. We are glad that you have decided to apply to LUMS. Before you start with the application, we need to make note of a few key points. You can only apply once in an admission cycle. Do not forget to read the minimum eligibility criteria of your desired program and make a note of important dates. Please make sure that you have a valid email address. You must have a scanned copy of recent passport size photograph with white background available with you. The file must be in .jpg format and file size must be less than 1 megabyte. We also require your national identity card, B4 more passport, scanned copies of your academic transcripts and financial aid documents. We will not accept dummy data or incomplete applications. Open any web browser and type the URL admissions.lums.edu.pk or go to LUMS Home and click on the tab Apply. At the page you can see the link to create new LUMS online admission account. Click the link and fill the page to create a new account. Provide details in the create a username and password. Please make sure to complete all fields as you will not able to continue without doing so. Also be sure to write down your username and password to log in again in the future. Please be noted that correspondence from LUMS will be sent on your current mailing address. As soon as you create an online admission account with LUMS, an auto-generated email from LUMS online admission server will be sent to your email account for the authentication purpose. If you don't find it in your inbox please check your junk mail folder. Now log into your account by entering your username and password. This will lead you to the LUMS online application. From the program selection select your desired program. In the previously applied information section fill in the relevant details. You can check out the important information regarding your admission. You can also view the admission calendar to note the important dates and deadlines. Go to the tab application form to start filling your LUMS online application. Before we start to fill in the application, let's check out the instructions provided in the top right corner. Now you can see there are various sections all these sections shows an incomplete status. We will now start filling in these sections by entering the required information. First section of the application is schools applied.
First of all we will go through the instructions provided on the top right corner to gain clarity on how to fill in this section. Please note that this section applies to the undergraduate application only. Select your desired school. Please note that you will not be able to make changes once you save the information in this section. After completing the required details click the checkbox provided at the bottom of the section and click on save and return button. You can see that status of the school applied section is changed to completed. The next section of the application is the biographical section. Let's go through the instructions provided in the top right corner for the details on how to fill in the information in this section. Start filling in the personal information, make sure to fill in the information in the fields marked with the asterisk. You are now required to upload a picture as per the instructions provided in the top right corner of the section. Make sure that your name and date of birth must be same as it appears on your academic and personal identification documents. Your picture has been uploaded. Fill in the father's information section. In this section, Enter your father's name and CNIC or passport number and all other fields marked with asterisk. Mother's information and guardian information. In this section, enter your mother's name and CNIC or passport number and all other fields marked with asterisk. Fill in your permanent home address and your current mailing address. In the campus accommodation choose yes if you want to apply for on campus accommodation or select no if you want to apply as day scholar. Enter your contact number. Fill in the details of your most recent school or college. Do not forget to add branch name of your school. Click on the button save and return. Your biographical section is now complete. Status of the section will now change to completed.
go through the instructions provided in the top right corner of the section for the details on how to enter the required information in this section. Now we will start adding the exam information we will select the secondary level in exam level. In the external exam select the relevant information. Enter the relevant dates. Enter the board or university information. Fill in the school or college information. In the marks information section N2 the subjects and grades. Same process will be followed for entering the details of post secondary section. Please make sure to enter all your attempts separately by using a new record button. Please make sure to verify and recheck the information about your academics before proceeding to the next section.
fill in the details in the declaration section and save the section. The status of the section will now change to completed. This section is admission test section. In this section you are required to enter the test details required for your desired program. In the video we will be entering SAT details required for freshman application. Do not forget to check the instruction given in top right corner. To add information of SAT click here. Add in the relevant information and save the section. If you are applying for the School of Science and Engineering, fill in the information for SABSSE subject test and press save. Check the undertaking and press save to complete the section. In the teacher evaluation section go through the instructions provided in the top right corner for a clear understanding about the section. For application to the graduate program, this section will be replaced by the recommendation letter. You can download the teacher evaluation form by clicking here. Get this form filled by your teacher who has taught you in the past two years. After downloading the form click save and return. Teacher evaluation section is now complete. Let us start by checking the instructions provided on the top right corner. To submit your personal statement, you have been provided with two options. You can either fill it online, or you can upload a file in the supported format. Click on the save and return section. Personal statement section is now complete. Before filling this section do not forget to check the instructions provided in the top right corner. In the Awards and Honours section, you can enter the relevant information by clicking here. Or, you can check the box No Information regarding Awards and Honours to report and click Save. Click on the button Return to Main. This section is now complete.
We will start this section by checking the instructions provided in the top right corner. You can enter the relevant information by clicking here. Or, you can check the box No Information regarding extracurricular activities to report. Click on the save button. Now click on the return to main button. Extracurricular section is now complete. Before you proceed to this section, do not forget to check the instructions. You can enter the relevant information by clicking here. Or, you can check the box No Information Regarding Work Experience to report. Click on the Save button. Now click on the Return to Main button. Work Experience section shows a complete status. If you want to apply for need-based financial aid choose yes or otherwise select no and save the section. If you want to apply for financial aid, you can refer to the tutorial for financial aid application. Let's start the section by checking out the instruction on top right corner. If you have any disability, you can choose to tell us about it. Select the relevant information and upload a medical certificate and save the section. If you do not have any information to report select no and save the section. Press save and return button. Disability section is now complete. After completing your application, read and check the undertaking at the end and submit your application. After successfully submitting your application you will be able to download the fee voucher. After submission of your application, Supporting Documents tab will be available on your screen. Please check the required boxes and press Save. Now you can print the mailing label available in the top right corner. Please paste the mailing label on the Supporting Documents package.
supporting documents must reach us by the stipulated deadline. The preferred method of communication with the LUMS Office of Admissions is through the link Ask LUMS Admission provided at the upper right corner of your application. While filling out your application, feel free to contact LUMS Admissions in case of any difficulty. Thank you for watching and good luck with your application.